Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to review a site auditing tool called Website Auditor. It's a very, very good uh, site auditing tool. So I'm just going to share my experience, you know, as a paying customer. I'm going to share the pros and cons, you know, some of my favorite features, uh, pricing and everything in between. So you can, you know, take a call if you should buy a license of Website Auditor or not. And I'm also going to compare it, you know, versus uh, the other competitors. Um, all right, so let's just get into it, right? So, you know, first of all, Website Auditor runs as a desktop app, just like a lot of other website auditors. There's no SaaS application or whatever. Uh, so just, you know, be a little aware about that. So it starts out with, you know, you kind of defining, you know, like the website. So let's put my website. Um and I'm just going to put this in here and I would always recommend enabling the export options because then it kind of gives you a lot more flexibility into the audit, right? Um, now, when I kind of uh, click onto it, what it'll do is it'll, it'll basically, uh, you know, give me all of these uh, options to, you know, customize my audit, right? So I can choose to, you know, run the uh, crawler as a Google bot, uh, you know, or the SU Power Suite bot. I, I usually just prefer this. I think this gets the best results. You can also kind of limit scan depth. You know, if it's a really large site, you can basically like limit it to, let's say, five, ten, uh, like maybe two or three pages underneath, you know, not more than that. And then I always select for search for often pages. You know, if there are any pages that are not linked anywhere from my site, right? Um, then you can also filter by certain wor words, uh, you know, that, you know, if you want certain pages within a certain folder, like, I don't know, tools, you know, you could, you could just write that, or you can choose to not scroll certain set of pages, right? So in my case, I can put like, I don't want to crawl any author page, any URLs with the, the you know, with the word author in it or my affiliate links, right? So I can, I can do that. Then you can, you know, obviously decide the speed. You can execute JavaScript if it's a dynamic website. Uh, you can, you know, set parameters. You know, sometimes you don't want to track any of the GCL ID, which is like the uh, Google Ads, uh, you know, code identifier, uh, you know, any of the UTM tags and all of that. So you can customize that. And then in here, you can basically decide if you want to crawl subdomains, if you want to allow cookies, all of that, and basically just select that, right? Now, once the audit is completed, so just FI in terms of timelines, if it's a small site, it takes a couple of seconds. If it's a medium sized site, it takes from five to 15 minutes. And if it's a really large site, it can take up to an hour. But overall, I think it's pretty fast when it crawls uh, the pages, right? Now, once you once it's crawled, you basically come onto this interface, right? And, and overall, like I really like the user interface. It's super simple, super easy to use. And I'll just kind of give you a quick glance here, right? So everything operates out of this left side navigational menu, right? And the way I like to kind of uh, break this is this site structure thing, this is kind of uh, on a very, uh, this is basically an audit on a macro level, you know, uh, auditing, you know, you know, based on like, you know, bulk of pages and doing bulk analysis of how your site is performing. And the page audit is more of a micro analysis of the site audit, you know, be, you know, do like a very detailed analysis per page. And then domain strength is kind of like the things that you see in most SEO tools, you know, it gives you a little bit of overview of how the site is performing uh, and, and all of that. And the reporting is more, you know, if you want to kind of share this with a client, uh, you can share it as a, as a PDF or a, you know, uh, or a, or a HTML code or something and, and all of that. So I'll, I'll just kind of quickly get into it, right? So let's first get into the site structure thing. So once you order, you basically get this, uh, you know, page where, you know, you know, all of the, you know, URLs have been crawled, you know, there are certain, uh, you know, it's, it's identified the click depth, you know, the internal links, the external links to pages, right? So if I click on uh, this one, it will automatically find any links to pages and links from pages, right? Um, if I click on this one, like, I mean, you know, it'll, it'll basically identify all of those things. Now, the one uh, cool thing about um, uh, Website Auditor is that you can integrate it with uh, Google PageSpeed Insights. Uh, so you can basically link to that API and then it'll basically get you that technical data uh, in terms of, you know, like, 
the mobile site speed or there any issues that are showing up in search console it'll basically add that in there so that's number one and then they also integrate with google analytics uh, you know if you want to kind of show your traffic data and, and get that data as well um right now they don't integrate with uh, ga4 which is what i use so I, i don't i can't show you that integration but they are working on it right now they only uh, integrate with the old google analytics right so anyway this is the you know more of a macro level thing right now you can uh, this is kind of like the what was audited and then you know you can you can basically change filters how you want it if you want to show page size add anything like page size or a uh, robots instruction file or meta description all of that right so if i add in here right it basically adds that information in here right so it, it, it's pretty cool that way you can also see you know by on page and 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 links and technical factors and and um, all of that right then the the second thing is once the audit has been completed you go into the um audit and basically then uh, it uh, it gives you recommendations right it gives you you know what you're doing right what you know the auditor thinks you can improve and what is an absolute red flag right now right so it shows me all of these things like i have these broken images now what makes website auditor unique from all of the other tools out there is just that it not only tells you what the error is right it also tells you how to fix it and it also tells you why it's important to fix it right so you don't have to go searching around for solutions right so for example in this case you know broken image it says that you know here's why you know it's important here is how to kind of fix it and and you know all of that same thing with duplicate titles you know here's how to fix it like you know this you know like if there's a render blocking resource like all of these things can be done right and then you can basically sort through all of uh, your your issues the now the third thing within this site structure module is the visualization which is actually pretty cool what it does is it, it visualizes your internal linking structure into you know like a very uh, nice uh, view which which allows you to kind of uh, parse through um, you know how your internal linking is kind of moving through between urls right so uh in this case let's say for example um i want to see how this particular page is getting linked right so i can if i click on this i can see that you know it's linked from all of these places and then i can do whatever right i can you know this is based on click depth i can also do internal page ranks it shows me i mean and then you can basically hype you know you can you can create scenarios to understand if there's a new page that's added or an internal link gets changed how the visualization would change so I, i think this is pretty cool now let's get to the micro page audit right so in here this is more kind of like a analysis per page right so the way it works is you just go in here keyword map uh, and then you basically assign a particular keyword for a page right so for example for thirsty affiliates review i have a thirsty affiliates uh, you know page that that's in there right and it'll basically look at your competitors it'll look at search competition it'll basically first do a technical analysis right um and it'll show you what are the issues so this mobile page speed score came from the google page speed insights uh, integration that i have right and then it tells me what are the issues and then it tells me exactly which other things and it tells me you know what the issue is how to fix it and why it's important right which is what i absolutely love about website auditor uh this is kind of on a technical audit side now if you come on to the more uh you know the the content edit audit side it, it tells you you know you know like the basic things like you know do you have keywords in your title what's the length of the title uh you know word count all of that right and then you can actually get a even better view of the optimization of content by going on to the editor right so i usually choose the browser mode because what it allows is it renders the page and then it puts like a score and basically becomes like a content optimization software where you can put your mapped keywords and then you know it'll it'll have you know recommended list of keywords you can add it, you know it'll, it'll add uh, you know all of the competitors and serps it'll add all of the questions that are asked in google search it'll have the word count all of that um and you know it has like some cool like for example i can i can change things here you know like last updating you know like all of that and then you can basically download it or you know copy the changes and and make that in that 
what what I one cool thing that I like in here is that if you click here, you can you can basically you know create your meta title and description based on the top ten SERPs in here, right? And, and you can keep previewing that, right? So for example, in here, uh, let's say if I change that, how does that come? Like it just helps you brainstorm better. So that's what the uh, content editor kind of uh, helps. With. It's, it's a very useful uh, tool, right? Then, you know, there's, there's there's other things like, you know, they do a TFTF, a TFIDF analysis, which is kind of uh, a, a way to uh, understand how, uh, you know, the, the page and the content has been optimized for a search term or something. You just search for it on Google. Um, yeah. And then, you know, like I said, the domain strength is kind of more uh, like an SEO, uh, you know, analysis. They, they put a scoring on your domain. Uh, you know, they, they tell you, you know, how many pages are indexed on, on certain search engines. Like Google has the highest indexed pages. Uh, Bing actually has the, the lowest, which is pretty surprising. It gives you backlinks and all of that. Uh, and the last thing is the reporting, right? So what I really love about the reporting is that, um, you know, this is something you can export into a PDF, you can export into a CSV file or an HTML code, whatever. Uh, it tells you on a, on a summary level, what are the issues? And then, you know, it tells you how to fix those issues and why it's important and all of the things we saw uh, when we were seeing these results. So this is actually a very good add-on. If you're working with your clients, you can basically hand over this PDF and then they can implement the changes themselves. I think this is pretty awesome. So that's it. That's, that's, that's everything about Website Alter. I think what I what I absolutely liked about Website Auditor in terms of pros was I think the first is that a lot of website auditing tools basically just focus on you know giving you all of that information, but they don't really tell you how to implement those changes and why those changes are important, right? And, and Website Auditor actually does that better. So even Screaming Frog doesn't tell you that. Even Sitepulp doesn't tell you that, but Website Auditor does. So I think I like that. And then the other thing that I liked here was just... Um, I think the overall user experience was pretty nice. You know, it was fast, it was easy, it was pretty uh, solid. Um, I think, uh, you know, like the content optimization tool was a nice surprise in here. It gave me everything, uh, you know, that I needed. And yeah, I mean, like, I think overall it was, it was pretty great. In terms of cons, uh, some of the things that I didn't like, I think the first was that, you know, they don't have the, the GA4 integration right now, which, you know, I mean, everybody's moving to that. So I would have expected they would have had that here. The second thing I didn't like was the visualization. Like, I mean, I think this is decent, but I think it could be better, right? So for example, like, I don't know which page has like the more internal links because, uh, you know, for example, like these oranges are kind of the same size circles, right? While I would have expected that the more the number of internal links, the bigger the size of the bubble. So, um, you know, I think those are kind of areas to, uh, improve on and I think the, the last thing is really just that I wish all of these tools were kind of on the cloud right so uh, you know so I could use them on my mobile or you know if I'm traveling and I'm using a different computer I could have just uh, you know just just done the audit there these are all desktop tools uh, so which kind of restricts you on your machine so I think these are kind of like the major cons now in terms of uh, pricing you know how much does it cost right so when I kind of um, uh, look at the pricing here, right? So Website Auditor actually comes part of this uh, tool called SEO Power Suite, and it's kind of like a suite of tools. Uh, so it basically, you know, gives you four tools, you know, uh, three more tools apart from Website Auditor. The first is an unlimited, you know, sorry, the first is a rank tracker. Uh, the second is kind of like a, you know, backlink tracking tool, you know, link auditing tool. And the third is kind of like just a way to help you, uh, you know, do some link prospecting and outreach, right? Now, what I love about uh, the pricing with SU Power Suite is that everything's unlimited. You know, you can audit unlimited number of pages, unlimited number of sites. Uh, you can do unlimited number of analysis, unlimited exporting of the reports, unlimited rank tracking, uh, you know, of, of keywords, unlimited link prospecting, like unlimited everything. And, it co you know, it costs you about uh, $299 per year, which comes out to something like, $25 per month. Um, so if you ask me, I think it's really, you know, high value for money. Uh, they provide a lot of great tools. It's a mature tool, like, uh, you know, Website Auditor and SEO Power Suite have been there for 10 years. So it's not like a new tool. And if you look at the reviews, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, if you enjoyed this review, if you found some value, please consider buying SEO 
uh, power suite and website auditor through my affiliate link below uh, it won't cost you anything it will help me create more videos uh, like this to help you out um, and yeah i hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please like share subscribe and i wish you a wonderful day ahead cheers